Just a Minute, A Trickster Tale and Counting Book by Juji Morales When Grandma Beetle woke at dawn, she heard a knock at the door. And oh my, waiting outside she found Senor Calavera. Senor Calavera tipped his hat. What a skinny gentleman! With a pass of his hand, he signaled to Grandma Beetle. It was time for her to come along with him. Just a minute, Senor Calavera, Grandma Beetle said. I will go with you right away. I have just one house to sweep. Senor Calavera remembered he had extra time today, so he decided to wait. Uno, one swept house, counted Senor Calavera, and he rose from his seat. Just a minute, Senor Calavera, Grandma Beetle said. I will go with you right away. I have just two pots of tea to boil. Senor Calavera sighed. Waiting a little longer wouldn't hurt anybody, after all. Dos, two steaming pots of tea, counted Senor Calavera, and he headed for the door. Just a minute, Senor Calavera, Grandma Beetle said. I will go with you right away. I have just three pounds of corn to make into tortillas. Senor Calavera rolled his eyes. He had to be very patient sometimes. Tres, three stacks of tortillas, counted Senor Calavera, and he put on his hat. Just a minute, Senor Calavera, Grandma Beetle said. I will go with you right away. I have just four fruits to slice. Senor Calavera frowned. This was taking more time than he had expected. Cuatro, four fruits made into salad, counted Senor Calavera, and he motioned that they should go. Just a minute, Senor Calavera, Grandma Beetle said. I will go with you right away. I have just five cheeses to melt. Senor Calavera tapped his fingers. This was getting out of hand. Cinco. Five melted cheeses, counted Senor Calavera, and he hurried to help Grandma Beetle with her sweater. Just a minute, Senor Calavera, Grandma Beetle said. I will go with you right away. I have just six pots of food to cook. Senor Calavera threw up his hands. What else could he do? Seis, six pots of delicious food, counted Senor Calavera, and he offered Grandma Beetle his arm. Just a minute, Senor Calavera, Grandma Beetle said. I will go with you right away. I have just seven piñatas to fill with candy. Senor Calavera shook his head in disbelief. It was getting late. Siete. Seven piñatas full of candy, counted Senor Calavera, and he held open the door for Grandma Beetle. Just a minute, Senor Calavera, Grandma Beetle said. I will go with you right away. I have just eight platters of food to arrange on the table. Enough! Senor Calavera could take no more. Ocho, eight platters of food set on the table. But Senor Calavera had lost count. He was too busy stomping on the floor. Oh, look, Senor Calavera, Grandma Beetle exclaimed. Here come my grandchildren. Senor Calavera took a deep breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nueve. Nine beautiful grandchildren came through the door. The children sat at the table, everyone at his place. Now, Grandma Beetle said, all my guests are here and together they make ten. But the guests sitting at the table counted only nine. Grandma, the children protested. Where's guest number 10? Here he is, she answered. This, number 10, of course, is Senor Calavera. It was time to celebrate Grandma Beetle's birthday. When the birthday cake was all aflame, Grandma Beetle blew out the candles with a gust like a hurricane. When the party was over, Grandma Beetle kissed her grandchildren one by one. Then she announced, I am ready, Senor Calavera. But oh my, where was Senor Calavera? Grandma Beetle found only a note. Dear Grandma Beetle, 
Your birthday party was a scream. I had fun like never before. I wouldn't miss your next birthday party for anything in the world. You can count on that. Sincerely yours, Senor Calavera.